Well, 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 people, it is time to talk about the post credit scenes for Marvel Studios and Man the Wasp Quantumania. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure to check out both my non-spoiler review and spoiler review for this film. And now we are talking about the post credit scenes. There's a mid credit scene and a post credit scene. So, of course, if you haven't seen the movie yet, then you're probably not going to want to watch this video. So, spoiler warning right away for Marvel Studios and Man the Wasp Quantumania. But we need to talk about these post credit scenes because, of course, they are both about Kang. You know, we are setting up the multiverse saga, making our way towards Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, as well as also Secret Wars. And so when it comes to Kang in the MCU, his big thing is time travel, the multiverse, and variants. And so far, we have seen two variants of Kang in the MCU. We saw He Who Reigns in Loki, and then Amy and the Wasp Quantumania gave us Kang the Conqueror. And in the movie, Kang supposedly died. I still firmly believe that he is alive and he's going to be back because, I mean, he is supposed to be the Kang the Conqueror. So we'll see on that. But this first post credit scene, the mid credit scene, introduces us to three brand new Kang variants for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And these are all comic versions of the characters. So we have first this feral looking version of Jonathan Majors as Kang. And this is of course Rama Tut. So this character is going to be really cool um, because he's a pharaoh. And basically in the comics, Ken the Conqueror, you know, he, you know, present day, well, future pre present day, you know, super successful scientist. He decides to go back to ancient Egypt and he is worshipped as a god because of his highly advanced technology. So we have Ramata here, the pharaoh of the future. So he looks great. We also have Immortus, one of the more uh, well-known variants of Kang the Conqueror from the comics. Also another character that originally started off as his own villain in the comics and then was later retconned to be a Kang variant. So we have a Mortis here. So he's going to be playing a big role as well. And then finally, we have this one. This is the one that I'm not completely sure about. Uh, some people have said maybe it's a take on the Scarlet Centurion, just without the Scarlet part, it could just be the Centurion. So that's definitely a possibility. Or this could be maybe the Kang that is going to go up against the Young Avengers with uh, Iron Lad and do all that stuff. I don't know for sure, but we'll definitely have to wait and see. But I mean, it's an interesting design. And I love how you know, Jonathan Majors, such a great actor. We saw this with both He Who Remains and Kang the Conqueror that, yes, they're versions of the same character, but they are different characters, and he's played both of them differently so far. And these three characters are no exception either, because they are all, they each have their own uniqueness to them other than just the, you know, Halloween party costumes, which, um... A lot of people don't like this mid credit scene because they think it's a little goofy and silly. And they do definitely look a little goofy and silly. But at in the moment, I was just really hyped and I was really excited about it. I just thought it was really cool. Like, as an idea, like, it's the Council of Kang. So I think that's really awesome. And then it's revealed that they have summoned literally every version of Kang throughout the multiverse to this giant, almost coliseum... Uh, arena here and to so get all these different versions of Kang the Conqueror so many different variants and they all look great here uh this was one where I felt it was a little bit goofy because you have one in the in the crowd who is just going crazy and laughing maniacally and almost uh like animalistic I would say um I mean, it was kind of funny, but it, it just kind of took away from the whole, like, oh, this is, like, the big bad of the MCU. Um, we do also get this one here, this kind of older guy-looking um, kind of character. And this is basically a remake in live action of this shot from the comics. So I thought that was really cool uh, to see here done. And, yeah, so we have now the Council of Kangs. They are coming again. I believe the Kang the Conqueror will be returning as well. Uh, but as for our end credit scene, which I think was even better, is actually a clip from Loki Season 2. At least I'm assuming a clip from Loki Season 2, uh, which I'm really looking forward to whenever we get that trailer for that. But we know Secret Invasion is coming first. That's supposed to come out in May. So probably won't be getting Loki Season 2 until at least the end of summer, unfortunately. Um... But I'm really excited for this. I love the first season of Loki, so I'm so excited for season two. And just this sneak peek gives me so much more hype because we open up in like 
the olden times, I, I don't even know what decade this would be, but we see Victor Timely and his astounding Emporial Marvels. That's what I'm assuming it says. So Victor Timely is another variant of Ken the Conqueror in the comics that is going to be adapted here as well. So we get our first look at him. And again, I love the different look because he's a variant and also the different portrayal that Jonathan Majors is bringing to the table. And he seems like a very theatrical, uh, scientist -y version of Kang, so I really enjoy that, and of course, he's talking about time, um, Grace Randolph and some other scoopers were mentioning how this version of Kang will be, this will show how Kang created the multiverse engine that we saw him using in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and this could possibly even be, maybe even a younger version of, uh, uh, he Who Remains, or a younger version of one of these other Kang variants that we've seen previously, and then we do, of course, get to see Owen Wilson as Mobius and Tom Hiddleston Loki as well, um, so that's great to see. Again, I'm just so, so excited for that. So, guys, Kang the Conqueror, his future will be bright. Will it actually be Kang the Conqueror himself, or is he dead? Are we just going to be focusing on these other variants like Ramatud, like Immortus, like Centurion, whatever version that is, and all these other victor timely i'm just really excited for this i think kang's gonna be a great character um I, he was one of my favorite parts of aim and the wasp quantum mania so i'm so excited to see more of him and his variants going forward in the future of the mcu uh but for now guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below what did you think about the post credit scenes of ant-man the wasp quantum mania so thank you so much for watching please drop a give enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so i can keep you to date on everything goes on in the marvel life